Mass here at Dega. Uh, I'm one of the multi-core level designers at Gearbox Software. Yeah, today we're showing off our uh, Team Deathmatch. That's 6v6 Marines vs. Xenomorphs. Showing Team Deathmatch today, and it's just a simple version of a five minute time limit. Whoever gets the highest score wins. And we're uh, we're playing on a, a new map called Origin that we're showing off today. Uh, this place takes place on LV426, uh, right underneath the, the derelict ship, which you can actually see right here in the skybox. Oh, they just got me out of nowhere. So. Uh, we'll play. the loadouts quickly. Uh, okay. You know, obviously, the pulse rifle has a couple of shotgun options. Yes, yeah, so we got an auto pump shotgun. Uh, we got the pulse rifle. We got a uh, we got that handgun. Uh, you know, we got our uh, loadout. Uh, I'm sorry, we got our uh, motion play. trackers. Yeah. We have the motion tracker too that you can pull out at any time, no matter which loadout you use. Now allow me to see where the other xenomorphs are. So right now I can tell there's one off in this direction, but I don't know actually. Oh, here we go. Pulse, the Pulse Rifle has an underbarrel uh, grenade launcher. It's one of the attachments you'll be able to add to your guns. Oh. So is there a new tube hold there as default? Um, so the, we're only, we have four preset loadouts for today. Uh, you will be able to customize your uh, weapon loadouts for the Marines and for the Xenomorphs as well. Uh, not weapons, but you'll be able to customize your attack styles and everything. And we're showing off two uh, starting Xenomorphs today, the Soldier and the Lurker. And they'll vary from uh, their speed, their attacks, um, executions, uh, their health. Ah. So yeah, that was the Lurker right there. And he can just pounce on me and uh, knock me down. But my teammates can shoot him right off of me and save me just in time. There's no one around there. One of the things that, um, so the Xenomorphs, they can see across, halfway across the entire map where all the Marines are. Uh, and so if, as a Marine, like right now, I'm by myself. I really don't stand much of a chance. I need to find my other Marine buddies and stick to them and stick near them because on my own, I'm a goner. But together, Marines are very powerful together and it's really hard for uh, Xenomorphs to be able to penetrate that fence. At the same time, like Marines have a smart gun picked up in the map. Uh, just like in the Aliens movies, it's a really big gun that you can pick up and it just auto-locks on the Xenomorphs and you just pull the trigger and it does all the work for you. Xenomorphs have a pickup as well called the Crusher, which you can see over in this screen right here, it's like a big bull with like an armor plating head and it can just charge forward and you want to you want to dodge its first attack and try to shoot it from behind. It does keep that uh, balance. You mentioned the fact that Marines are all more powerful in groups. Um, yes. Yeah, how are you, how are you balancing that out on a because not everyone's going to play together in, uh, in public matches. So, we do have a lot of, like, you will be able to always customize your characters and, you know, if you, know, you find that you're better off on your own, that's great, but we actually just kind of, it naturally works out where, like, we spawn, the players spawn near each other. Uh, they, they really do just need to stick together and work together as a team. Uh, but that's not to say you're not going to do well playing by yourself. Like, I am running around on my own for the most part. And I'm actually, I think I'm going positive right now. But uh, you will notice, though, that, like, the fact of the matter is, the Xenomorphs can see me from halfway across the screen, so they're going to come at me. So that, that's my choice. But it, it just naturally tends to work out where we will kind of, like, stick together. Even if we don't, like, even if you don't intend to, like, it just happens. It's, really, it's pretty cool, actually. But I'm going to stick with these guys. Uh, tell us quickly about the progression system. I see we level up at the end of matches. Uh, so you're going to uh, unlock some like currency or experience points, and for that you'll be able to upgrade your characters. And this will carry over from campaign to multiplayer. You'll be able to unlock new attachments or your weapons, anything like that, and that will carry over and you can use that on your, your single player character or your multiplayer character. And same as Xenomorphs, you'll be able to unlock new abilities as well. So if you're a Xenomorph multiplayer um, fan, if you, if you just want to play the alien side, it, it, do you still get character progression in the single player campaign? Is it just I'm sorry, it? can you repeat that? If you just get, if you're an alien fan, yep. and you want to play as the alien multiplayer first, and then go back to the single player campaign, do you 
you still get benefit from having played the aliens as opposed to playing the Marines and then playing the Marine campaign? Um, you will on my points. Um, and we're still kind of working all that out, but yeah, um, you will be able to, no matter when you're playing multiplayer, you'll be able to unlock currency to upgrade your characters, and then that will carry over multiplayer single player. That's awesome. all I can really say. Great, uh, quick reminder for the guys at home, uh, when's it going to be out, which month? February 12th, 2013. Can't wait. Perfect.